Hello everybody. Sorry I didn't do a video last week. I know I said I was gonna get better about that and then I didn't. Anyway, it's freaking cold here in North Carolina. I am driving to Target. Hopefully I'll get there okay because I'm using my phone. If my phone is not connected to my car, then I can't use the GPS. I really hate that about this car. But anyway, it is cold. I, I guess I'm starting to get a little used to it. You know, I'm from Florida. Well, I'm not from Florida, but I lived in Florida all my life. I'm starting to get a little bit used to it because um, I'm not dying when I go outside. It's, it's I'm like, it's only 30 degrees. The, earlier it was like 20 something. Um, the weather is getting better. It's been kind of cold and rainy. Well, cold, rainy. But it looks like the sun is coming out, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to Target because I have to get out of the house and you know I, I don't know if you guys know this but I love Target like I love Target and I thought moving here in the middle of nowhere which actually where we're renting is not really the middle of nowhere um just the house that we're well the house that we're building is going to be in the middle of nowhere but I found out when we went there's a family dollar 20 minutes away I actually need gas so I need to find a gas station I'll do that on the way back I never have gas in my car but tomorrow I'm going to be going to Raleigh which is 30 minutes away from where I live to do what am I doing P Peter I always want to say Millard is that correct Peter Mill it's not Peter Miller it's something it's a golf um, company like a high-end golf company so I'm gonna be working with them grooming probably gorgeous men so I'm very excited about that because it's been kind of I'm not depressed I'm not you know sad I love it here I've always wanted to be here but I think I'm it's an adjustment from getting daily pay when I do like um, the work in Florida was all headshots, comp cards for new models. I did do high-end fashion shoots and some commercial work, not much. But since I've moved here, I don't do my daily um, like headshots and comp cards. Like, you know, I don't get daily income like I used to. So that has been a huge adjustment. So because I'm doing bigger jobs, um, like more commercial work, I have to wait two to three months maybe to get paid, which that kind of sucks, you know. So that's been the only big adjustments I've had to get used to here. I know I'm a little crooked, but this arm, I can't make it turn. I don't know what's wrong with it. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's been a huge adjustment because I'm, you know, honestly, I've been kind of used to shopping like every day, you know, for the house or something. And then now I can't because I got to wait. But... I guess that's good so when we move into our new house that we're building um you know the money will be there <laughs> so like i said before it's going to be a year before our house is done and things are kind of like on delay now because poor guy um our lender his parents passed and then um we're waiting on a plot plan and the guy has covid and that's taking a while you know you know i hope he feels better but um but we got electricity running now and then um i guess so, since it's 10 acres and it's just all i was gonna say it's all hairy it's all hairy it's full of trees and stuff they get they have to like get rid of a lot of that we don't want a lot of it moved because we want to um have a, trees surrounding the house but we don't want it so where there's bad weather the trees fall on our house but whatever so yeah so we're waiting on that to happen which hopefully they said march and then a year to build a house they said maybe less hopefully so yeah so i've been looking for um, island chandeliers we originally had one house picked out and then that we decided not on that house because when we went to see a house that kind of looked like it it was going to be too tight and you know everything's about our dogs we adore our dogs they're like our children and they weren't going to have enough play space so we decided to go with the bigger house and um, i love it more it's a one story which i normally love two stories but hey i'm getting older i don't need a two story anyway oh my god i think i'm making it to target without the gps yay uh and i'm not even really paying attention well i'm paying attention but you know i'm talking so okay so so yeah so that's what's going on with that and then i'm going to do three jobs this week which i'm very excited my agency um things are now starting to move forward and i got three jobs so i'm doing peter is it millar 
Peter Miller. I don't know how to say the last pronounce it. I don't know which one. It's a big golf company. So I'm doing that shoot for tomorrow, which is men's grooming, which is kind of cool because sometimes they'll use like Haley, Haley Perry's ex-husband for um, some of the golf stuff. So that'd be nice to see him. Gabriel, whatever his last name is. Anyway, um, so just to let you know how high end this, you know, golf company is. And then for clothes. And then I'm also doing, people are like passing me because I'm driving way too slow. Um, actually I'm not, I'm 45. Okay, so, and it says 45. Okay, so, and then I'm doing uh, Belk. So I'm doing Belk for two days and that you And then the other nice thing is I'm going to, um, I got put on option or hold for Wrangler for five days. So I'm very, very excited about that. So hopefully I get that. I, I have worked with them before, but this is five days. So that's even nicer. And then I have some jobs coming up in April, hopefully in Vegas. So we'll see what happens with that. And that's it. I mean, I don't have a lot. There's some makeup I do want to show you guys that I got that I'm a little obsessed with. It, I'm in the car, but when I, I'm almost to Target, so I will show you when I get to Target what I'm obsessed with lately um, because it's been a cult favorite. It's a Clinique lip, lip balm. Is it, like a lip, it says almost lipstick, but it's like a lip balm to me. But it fades into like a beautiful, well, I'll go into that in a minute because I'm, now I'm in the freaking light, so it's going to take longer for me to show you guys what's going on. Oh my God, it's freaking cold. So anyway, okay, so what else? Um, so last week I was, you know, I missed a video because I was extremely tired. Um, I have hypothyroidism and I, I don't do my like three step routine every day. I'm literally like freaking tired. I don't know if you guys know about hypothyroidism. It's the motherboard of your body. It's like that little thing that looks like a butterfly. Mine is all screwy. It was screwy for like nine years and I gained a bunch of weight and I just felt horrible all the time. And um, so I, I found this product and like premium vitamins and shakes, probiotic shakes and stuff. And for nine years to be suffering with this crap, there's the popo. -po. Uh, why is there three cops for one guy? Anyway, um, you know, so I was doing a detox last week and I was tired as all get out. I was so tired. Like it reminded me of what I felt like two years ago before I started this product and I was sleeping and I took, I would take naps like at 1030 in the morning because I was so tired. I was not motivated to do anything. I just felt horrible. I mean, it was good because doing a detox is really good for you. It gets rid of like the toxins and metals in your body and gut health. And I definitely did not have that before I started my little, you know, routine. And, you know, so I wasn't doing it because you can't do anything when you're doing the detox. And it was good, but I had to get off of it the last two days of it because I was miserable. Like my husband couldn't believe how tired I was. Where is Target? Um, how tired I was when I wasn't doing my three little steps. Um, those three little steps has literally changed my life. I mean, I don't really like to talk about stuff unless it really works and believe me, it works. Well, it works for me. So that's why I didn't do a video because I just couldn't get out of bed that, or out of the, off the sofa. Like I would sit there and watch TV and just sleep all day for like freaking, it's a 10 day detox. So I did it for almost a week. So now I did it this morning and I feel so good and so much energy and I feel like I could just do whatever. So I didn't do my makeup because I'm trying a new, um, my friend is dinging me right now. I didn't do my makeup because I do have some new foundations and stuff that, and makeup that I am going to be playing with later and I'll do a video on that because I'm really excited. I've been trying to find this Laura Mercier stick forever. I couldn't find it anywhere. Like they have it in the wrong colors. So, actually, I didn't even get the one I wanted. I got one that, you know, that I did, I do love. But the one I really want is, like, on a stock everywhere. So, um, you know, I want to share that and this new foundation. You know, I like to, you know, try products out before I actually, you know, give a good or a bad review. But I don't like doing first impressions. First impressions just don't make sense to me. Because, I mean, 
how do you know how the product is going to wear later if you do a first impression on it? To me, that's that's just my thing, you know, because I need to know what it's going to do. Oh, shit, missing target. God, I'm glad somebody's behind me. All right, so I'm almost at the parking spot. Okay, now I've got to find a parking spot that some ding dong isn't going to scratch my car or hit it like they've been doing before. All right, so now I'm going to show you my product. All right. Oh my god, I need gas. Okay, so it's in my little Louis. No, it's my Louis. My Yves Saint Laurent. Oh my god, I said the wrong thing. I'm not a fan of Louis. But anyway, okay, so let me see where it is. What is it? Okay, so it's two that I'm obsessed with. Wrong one. All right, so I'm obsessed. And this is a cult favorite. Like, I remember this, like, back in the day. And I remember buying it. And then it was always, like, out of stock. And then when it came back in stock, I forgot about it until recently. So it is Black Honey. And this is from Clinique. And, oh, my God, it is the most beautiful color. Like, I normally... Well, that's not true because lately I've been really kind of into these darker colors. But look at this. I'm only going to do the bottom lip so that you could see what it looks like. Because I want to add the other one on top. No, I guess I'll just... No, because I want... I, you guys need to see the color. Okay, so look at this. So... It is gorgeous. It's almost like a lip balm. It gives you a little bit of a shine. And when it fades, it kind of stains your lips a little bit. And your lips just look like you pinched them. So I'm obsessed with this. I love it. And you know what? I'm so dumb because I finally saw one. I ordered this one from Ulta. I finally saw one and um, Ulta and I should have bought it. I actually, Ulta's next store. If they have it, I'll get it. I didn't get it. Okay, so the other one that I'm obsessed with is by Nutrium. I follow her on Instagram. No, not Instagram, on YouTube. She's like a dermatologist, and then she came out with her own line. And, you know, I've been really fascinated by her, and I love looking at her videos and stuff. And so she has this lip balm called Jam. And... It has like this little like metal applicator. So let me show you. It's not coming out. It's probably because it's frozen. Because I left it in the car. I left it in the car like a ding dong. And... Oh my god, it's not coming out. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so. Can you see the difference? Um, it's not really much of a difference. This is actually really cold because it, I did leave it in the car. But it is like shiny. It's so pretty. It smells delicious. It feels great on your lips. It's not super sticky or anything. So if you can't get the one from Clinique, this is a nice dupe for it. And you could get this at Target. Like, you know how they have like a lip balm section? This is there. And actually, if they have another one, I'm going to get it. So this one is like $11. $11 and this is about $28 or something like that. So I don't, my glasses, I can't freaking see. I don't really see a difference. It is a great dupe. Oh my God, it's so cold. My skin is itchy. And I have like 50 layers on. I'm like freaking hot. So yeah. Oh, and then I want to show you this one again. I couldn't find both of these because they were sold out. So Elf has this one right here. And it is. This is what it looks like. It is super, super pretty. It's a, maybe it's a little bit darker, but it's gorgeous. So this is from e.l.f. I think it's like $6. Look how pretty that is. So these three are the ones, well, I left them in my car and then I had to pop them in my, in my um, purse, but they're like frozen. <laughs> so yeah, you can't really even tell the difference between them. My hair looks terrible. I look terrible. I'm getting old. I'm trying to get this little waddle thing. Anyway, whatever. I'm getting old. What the hell? So, yeah. So, oh, I need to put moisturizer on my face because I did it. Okay. So, I I have my, like, regular moisturizers I use all the time. And um, I got this in my beauty box. And I, I'm bougie as hell. Anyway, so this is Vitamin C Intense and Face Cream Cat Berkey probably butchering that I got it from one of my boxes I don't know which one because I get them all and my husband my husband likes to take all my products out and then he lays them out for me and then if I'm at home he'll take a picture of it and send it to me so I don't know what box this came in but let me tell you I love it it is um 
let's see. It's just it has vitamin C and I love it. And it is bougie. I love good luxurious creams because I feel I mean there are like some drugstore, but I feel a difference. In the texture of like the bougie creams. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's just me. But actually that's not true. I take that back. Because you know what? Wella does skin food. Um, is a drugstore. You can get it at Target, Ulta. And it is amazing. So if you have really dry skin. I don't have really dry skin. But in the weather I need like extra moisture. The Wellada is like delicious. And this is really nice. I could just see the difference in the texture. And I love it. Like I love this face cream. It's like $116. So I got it in one of my beauty box. Probably got it in my fat fit one. I don't know. Love it. It makes your skin nice and shiny. It smells really good. Look at my hair. It's all crazy. I need somebody to like even it out because you know, I'm that crazy person. I cut my own hair. <laughs> I know I, I cut like eight inches seven eight inches probably more because it was super long and now it's up to here i cut my own hair because you know what my friend went and spent almost two hundred dollars on getting her hair cut as short as mine and they jacked it up they jacked up her hair her hair is all lopsided and crooked okay so i might as well do it myself and get it the way i want to because i could style the mistakes but i do want it like kind of thinned out a little bit on the bottom but it's my favorite length of hair. So there you go. It's a mess. I didn't really comb it. I just straightened it. And that's it. And I love the slip color. People are looking at me because I'm like sitting here talking in my car like a freak. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. And I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.